Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how you can install another operating system in your current computer. So in this case, I am using a Mac OS. Uh, this is my computer. But what I'm going to show you is that the process is almost the same with Windows and uh, Linux. I will be using VMware Fusion Player because this is the free option from VMware. They have other paid software but I am going to show you how you can use this one as an alternative for other virtual machines like Parallels for Mac, free virtual machine like VirtualBox, and other softwares. I found out that VMware Fusion is a little bit better than those other software I've tried. I am going to show you why later on. So there are just two main things that you need here before starting. Basically, you need the VMware Fusion Player. You need to download this from their website. I'm going to put the link here in my uh, video description. So you need to sign up first. And then once you signed up, they will give you a download link and also your own personal license. So I'm not showing you my login because it will show the license key. But so the installation process is very simple. Uh, similar to other softwares so I want to uh, show you the process of installing that but what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to show you the process of installing another operating system in your VMware do today is we are going to install Ubuntu I have already downloaded it but uh, you can go ahead and go to the website and go to the download section uh, this is the one that you will be using the Ubuntu desktop this one is for the server and they have a lot of other options there so you can go for the latest one you can click on this or you can also try Linux Mint this is another good option I am actually using more Linux Mint these days than Ubuntu because it's user friendly and a lot more easier to use I think it's already started downloading so there you go I am going to cancel this because I have already downloaded an ISO file. ISO file is ready. We can go ahead and install this in the VMware player. When you first start your VMware Fusion, it will show you this screen. Also, if you already installed another operating system and you can see this dialog box, you can just go to the file menu and click on new and it will show you this dialog box again. So the first thing that we need to do here is to just use this option, install from this square image, then click on continue. Now, as you can see here, I have already installed Linux Mint before. So I will be installing Ubuntu this time. So you can just go ahead and click on use another disk or disk image. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to search here Ubuntu and this is the disk image. It's the ISO file that I downloaded recently. So I'll hit on open. This one is already selected. So you can see here it's highlighted. And then you're going to go ahead and click on continue. So in this next screen, there is an option here to use an easy install. So we're going to use that one. We can also include the password. This is a login password. So I'm just going to put here a simple password for this. And we have another option for you if you want to share your home folder to the virtual machine. So that means if you are in your virtual machine, you can access your host machine home folder. Uh, I'm going to leave this blank for now. Okay, let's hit on continue. And this is the summary. So basically what it will do is it will just automatically select all of the settings for you using the easy install, but uh, you can customize this one. So let's just go ahead and review this. Uh, 20 gig is okay. Uh, the memory is four gig. I have eight gig in this machine. So four gig is uh, enough. You can also customize this. So the device is uh, two CPUs and using all of these uh, devices. So if you're happy with this configuration, you can go ahead and click on finish. That's how easy it is. But if you're not happy, you can just go back and uncheck this option right here. It will basically show you the step-by-step -step process of how to change all those configuration. So let's just go back here 
and I'm gonna use the easy install for now hit on continue since I am happy with these settings by the way you can customize the settings later on if you're not happy with these settings so let's hit on finish now what it will do is it will create the virtual machine disk this is where all the data will be saved for this specific uh, operating system so let's just say I'm gonna name it Ubuntu so it will be easier for me to find it later uh, as you can see here this uh, I have another virtual hard disk here for mint which I already installed so just make sure that you know where folder you have it saved so that you can back it up later on if you like hit on save and there you go that's pretty much it so what we'll do is it will run the ISO so since the ISO is an installation file it will just uh, run it like running from a USB stick uh, during startup if, if you're installing this in a real machine You will also take note that the easy install skip the live test environment where you can go to the Ubuntu desktop environment without installing it. So there is that option. But here, since we use the easy install, it automatically install it to the virtual machine. So we skip those process. And after booting up Ubuntu, it automatically install it. So there you go. It's also installing the VM, uh, VMware tools. That means we don't have to do it manually, just like Parallel Toolbox or VMware Guest Editions. Uh, those are separate tools that you need to install. In VMware, you don't have to do that. It will automatically install for you. So there you go, we're ready. Let's uh, go ahead and I'll try to log in. There you go we're done that's pretty much it you can go ahead and uh, go with this uh, steps but uh, I'm just gonna skip this for now before I go I just need to mention that you can just resize the window it will just automatically adjust for you you can also set the display uh, settings So here, here's the resolution. You can also set that. But uh, in this case, you can just resize this and that's pretty much it. So the copy to clipboard is automatically enabled too. And uh, you can just go to the settings section if you like to modify some of the settings. But once you install this, if you want to restart the machine, it will just go straight to this, to your Ubuntu desktop. And based in my experience, working with the VMware Fusion is much easier than Parallels. And I hope you in the, enjoy this video. If you have any questions and if you have any requests, I might also do other operating systems. So you can stay tuned for that. So thank you again and have a good day.